Android Studio 3.3 is now available for download on the stable channel, along with version 3.3 of the Android plugin for Gradle. With this release, we are delivering features that we previewed this year, including the navigation editor, new tracking option for the profiler, improvement on the build system, and lazy task configuration. The navigation editor allows you to create destination, define parameters, and specify transition between them. It's a big improvement to be able to see your whole application flow if you're using the navigation architecture. You can link them with drag and drop and specify the type of transition for each user action. The profiler now lets you select the level of data collection for live memory allocation on device running API 26 or higher. You can choose between the full or sample mode. This can improve your app performance while profiling, which helps you to get closer to a real life user experience. The CPU profiler lets you see how long each frame takes to render on the UI thread. The profiler highlights frames that takes more than 16 milliseconds, letting you easily identify when your UI is not running smoothly. If your application is using obsolete APIs, Android Studio now provides more detailed debugging information on which part of your code is calling them. You need to enable this option by adding this line of code to your Gradle file. Build time reduction is a continued focus for us. We have improved incremental Java compilation when using annotation processors. We also included a preview of a new code shrinker, R8, which is faster than ProGuard. It doesn't even require any code changes. Give a try by adding this line of code to your Gradle file. If your project is configured with multiple build variants, the IDE will prompt you to sync only the current build, saving you time. You can enable it manually in the experimental menu. Android Gradle plugin now uses a lazy task configuration API. This avoids the cost of creating unused tasks during Gradle configuration phase. Instant apps are now fully supported with app bundles. You can create an instant app and installed app from the same project. It makes it super easy to split your app and reduce its size for a better user experience. To deploy your app as an instant app, edit your run configuration and enable the option. Android Android Studio 3.3. We are listening to your feedback on our bug tracker. You can test early builds of the 3.4 version on the Canary channel. See you soon.